thanks very much for coming in. You, you've got a very big uh, year. You've just been very busy, haven't you, with your album? Tell us about that. Well, I've um, I've been spent. In fact, it's been on and off over the last couple of years. I've been recording an album. We've been in Rockfield Studios, which is in Monmouthshire, and uh, Queen. They they recorded Bohemian Rhapsody there, and I believe Chris Martin wrote Yellow at Rockfield Studios. So it's been you can imagine like the atmosphere there is pretty amazing to yeah. to actually record your record there. So on and off we've been uh, in and out of the studio, and it's just about finished. Um, we we finished the mixing and mastering, and just in the last couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of very much been about working behind the scenes to build up to this moment, and then we're we're sort of planning now for how we're going to release it. Okay. Um, you know how that's going to look and really wanted to do the best job we possibly can to to get as many people as we can to hear it kind of ourselves really okay yeah. well we're delighted to have you this year love live music Thank you. Uh, you look very musiciany you've got the sort of <laughs> floppy curly hair you've got the trendy <laughs> beard thing going on <laughs> You're very skinny, which I hate because I'm trying to lose weight. Oh, I see. Well, yeah, I'm skinnier now than I than I used to be. It's been a recent kind of like you know, whip it occurrence. How have you it. managed this whip it occurrence? Oh, it's, well, it's literally a slight change in diet, basically. Oh, but tell I'm actually, us more. well, <laughs> I can't believe this is what I'm talking about. But <laughs> yeah, forget the music. I'm a woman, a middle aged woman. How did you lose the weight? Come on. Well, uh, you know what? Juicing is a very good thing. So I don't know whether you uh, oh. whether you. But I got to be honest with you, like. Uh, it ended up meaning that I actually felt very hungry quite a lot. So if you don't like the feeling of being hungry, oh. you kind of like possibly need to have a little bit of a, a less of an in, intense, intense diet than I had, basically. Okay. But juicing, I would definitely recommend juicing. So you juicing sh- gets me those hips? Possibly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know. We'll stay in touch. Let's, let's <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, we're going to hear from the music. But listen, you've got somebody with you in the studio. Fee's with you. Hello, Fee. Hi. What are you doing? Well, I'm filming Ben. At the moment, so uh, so all the people on Facebook, you lovely people who support Ben, thank you so much for that. Can see him and hear him later on in the replay, unless you're listening now. Of course. That's wonderful. Oh, in case you've got your being filmed, extra pressure there, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yes. uh, so we'll talk more about you know your background, or whatever. But let's hear some music. What's this one? The first one you're going to play for okay, us? Okay, this is a song, and it's called "The Storm." Um, actually, just to say, we have a music video for this that's going to come out later this year, and it was recorded at Charlcote Mill, which is in Warwick. Yes, yes. So um, anyone who's particularly interested in things along those lines, it's, it looks absolutely fantastic. So, oh. yeah, you know. Um, well, you're well, in it with your now yeah, juicing it. body. That's what we <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. <laughs> so what's this song called? It's called The Storm. The Storm. Yeah, okay. okay. I watch the storm break its back from the shore And I saw the sea swell as if she wanted to break my door A rage and fury that could bring a man down Oh, you wanna know, you gotta know that nature's got the other hand And we're the ones who go She said, shh Put the light on Cause I see dark moths, dark moths So put the light on And open up your eyes and go To the water's edge You can see yourself And get nourishment By the water By the water's edge We can heal the wounded, we can light the darkness. So I shut my eyes and heard the wind beat the walls. And I heard her crying as if a dark moth lay in her car. But her sheer power could blow those moths away Oh, you wanna know, you gotta know that nature's got the other hand And she's the one who'll stay She said, shh, 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 put the light on Cause I see dark moths, dark moths So put the light on Open up your eyes and go to 
the water's edge you can see yourself and get nourishment from the water by the water's edge we can heal the wounded we can light the darkness by the water by the water's edge we can heal the wounded we can light the darkness oh so if you care gotta tear it up 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 we gotta change gotta tear it up 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 you want to live like you want to live my love and love like you want to love my love and if you care you'll tear it up 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 we gotta change and tear it up up you wanna live like you wanna live my love and love like you wanna love my love So put the light on I see dark moths, dark moths So put the light on And open up your eyes and go to the water's edge you can see yourself and get nourishment by the water by the water's edge we can heal the wounded we can light the darkness fantastic oh come on be put down that laptop and start clapping girlfriend <laughs> that was fantastic Thank you, Trish. Thank no, I'm being. Oh, my, do you know? So we have to. Keep, have to move, oh, no, you, you need to do a signature for me, an autograph, because I think you are going to go places. <laughs> no, I need to you. get that sold on eBay when you're. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I'm That's not what being everyone ruthless. says. No one wants being, to keep it. I'm awful. Sorry. <laughs> that was captivating. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. And do you know what? I mean, like I say, my other half, <clears throat> he thinks he's a musician, as he bless him, he tries. <laughs> he's got a guitar, not as good as you. <laughs> uh, but that was incredible because you really move with the guitar you don't just stand there and strum it and what you do what were you doing with the guitar you kind of obviously you were strumming it but you were using a two-handed technique on the on the barrel of yeah. the strings tell me about that well, so I, I basically i use my right hand and i i hammer on a bass note basically so i either do a pull off for a bass note or a hammer on for a bass note and then the other other hand at the same time is uh basically doing hammer ons and pull offs to keep a melody going so you basically have a kind of a so it goes like this So, so you're you effectively got... playing two guitars in one. It's that kind of type, yes. type of thing, yeah it's, yeah. it's incredible. We're going to have to make sure we get a copy of the video <laughs> that we can put it up on our uh, Facebook page. I mean, did you write that song? Yeah, yeah, that's my song. Yeah, I wrote that song. Actually, I, I travel to Scotland a lot, to the west coast of Scotland. I'm really inspired by ah. things like nature and yes. especially the west coast of Scotland. It's just an incredibly wild place. Mm. And... Um, well, there was an in, a very intense storm, basically. It was like 24 hours of mental weather. Yes. And actually, I was there with Fee, and she actually said to me, well, why don't you play the storm? And over time, that's, that developed from that experience of being in that storm. Of, of so. watching the weather. Yeah, yeah. And, it, that and... was the inspiration initially, yeah, you know. I just, um, I just wish I could write like that. It was absolutely brilliant. And it, you. Uh, so, you two, right? You, is it a story of the storm? Is that what it? Ah, uh, I in, had some romantic lyrics in there. It wasn't just all about no, raining weather. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's right. Well, you know what? I find uh, nature a really incredible way as like a, a metaphor for, mm. for life, you know, and things you experience. And it almost felt like for me that storm and that weather was almost talking to me. You know, it, you know, I think that's my own personal experience of yeah. it. But you know that that. Um, that was my interpretation of perhaps what it was what it was saying. Because Ben, so many artists now are just uh, rocking it with their guitars. You've got Ed Sheeran, you know, all these, you know, what's the name? The other one. There's loads. I can't. There's loads of uh, <laughs> artists. I'm not great on music, but every time I look on what, these X Factor shows or whatever, mm. uh, and indeed in the charts, they've all, you've all got your guitars. It's very trendy now to be a singer with a guitar. It does seem to be catching on. People yeah. seem, seem to be catching on. How long have you been playing? I've actually been playing for quite a lot of years now. I, I actually played, I was in a, in a band about 10 years ago and I played acoustic guitar in the band. Mm. Then I had a few years where I, I kind of stepped away from it and it was through more through life events really that I came back to picking up a guitar. 
it's one of those things that feels you know synonymous with me does that make sense yeah you know? and is it better to be singing on your own now all the spotlights on you you haven't got any band members to hide behind <laughs> there, there are kind of you know there are benefits and there are well you know the, there's great camaraderie being in a band mm. and it's an amazing sense being singing on top of that sound yes. you know? however and there are there are people playing with me on my album so mm. i kind of get to experience that but yes playing on your own there's something really special about it because you know you you can take a set I, I don't know you can take it to real quiet kind of really intimate low moments mm. and then you can really play something like the storm and and still lift and it. go for it um, and also being a lead singer obviously yeah. oh, well not lead singer sorry you are the main singer um it's you you've got to perform and you were really performing there yes you were singing the storm but you were really going with you were you were one with your guitar ben <laughs> i de- definitely felt a merge a music and man <laughs> thank you i'm pleased but to hear we're gonna have some more from ben mags and we'll uh, uh, tell you how you can hear his music and may and maybe see if you're in Stratford uh, because he's going to be performing there real soon we'll have uh, more from Ben in just a moment we are BBC Coventry and Warwickshire Oh, he's got everything, Ben Mags. He's got the hips I want. He's got a trendy beard and he can sing and play the guitar at the same time. Uh, so, Ben, it's a, a big weekend for you. Uh, well, you uh, tell us about it. Well, this weekend I am going to be supporting the Christians uh, in Stratford-upon-Avon at the Arts House. Um, I don't know whether how many people know of the Christians, but they... Oh, uh, yeah, big 80s. The Ooh, eight, that's huge, right, late yeah. 80s, early 90s, like Harvest for the World and... I think ideal world and and songs along those lines. So, I actually played with them or supported them in Cheltenham about a year back, and since then they've invited me to support them a couple of times. And this is this is another one of those opportunities. So yeah. I'm I'm really really looking forward to it. It's and be what's fantastic. it like when you support a band because you don't want to outshine them because mm. <laughs> they're the main ones, yeah. uh, but you want to sort of make sure that all the audience go away wanting to yeah. buy your EP, it's okay, definitely. or your CD or whatever it's called. So how do you how do you manage that? It's uh, I, I don't know. It's actually pretty easy to be honest. You kind of get a sense, normally the set is half an hour and you get a sense of what you want to do, where you want to take the audience in that half an hour. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and I, I really like to get the the audience involved in the set and things. So um, I just, I do that. And I feel like in a sense, because when you're supporting someone, the audience has come to see the other person. So you've kind of got a little bit of a, a job initially to kind of say, hey, this is yes. me and you want to listen to me. Yeah, yeah. And um, as long Don't as that happens... Don't go for happens, any breaks yet. No. Just stay, stay in the room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I think as long as that happens, uh, to be honest, the Christians are really good live. So, you know, from that perspective, I just need to go out there and do yeah. the best I can and they'll just take it from there. But you know? stop, Ben Boyfriend, <laughs> because one day the Christians will be supporting you. <laughs> That's the way That's you it. need to be looking That's at exactly it. That's exactly right. Hello. That's exactly right, right. Trish. Uh, oh. Now, <laughs> what's happened you've, you've swapped guitars what's going on i have swapped guitars because i like the second song that i plan to play for you um is in a completely different tuning basically oh. um so everything's changed on the guitar it's deeper um and it's also got this i've basically got a capo which is something that kind of makes some of the strings higher ah yes my other half's got one of those on yeah, his guitar it's a very handy little thing i've noticed is, it, is, it, is this your superstitious feather you've both you've got this feather that was on your last guitar it's now on this guitar yeah. what's that all about it's not really superstition it's just um you know it's it's synonymous with flight you know I, and i like that as a as a kind of metaphor but i also just like it i just like the way that oh. it looks you know oh, okay yeah it looks very trendy uh well uh ben we'll definitely uh hear from how we can uh, download your stuff and like i say you're hoping 2015 is the year that you, the breakthrough year for you yeah yes. i re- I've, I've really really obviously we've, we've got the album which we're going to be releasing we're looking at a first single and around the spring sometime in the springtime i think and into the summer um we want to create some mu- more music videos as well because visual is quite a big thing nowadays yeah. you know the whilst um youtube and the internet and all, is not the be all and end all of everything they're really powerful things yes now. so we really want to make sure as i've said earlier that when it comes to spring time we start to release the music that people have got something to to yeah. to get their teeth into and then to be able to follow that up wonderful now do you need base. any sort of sexy middle-aged black women in your next video <laughs> is, is there a room for that <laughs> i'll tell you what i'll tell you what yeah well fee says definitely so fee says definitely <laughs> well, we got something to talk about i love fee she's already bought me pancakes i'm absolutely loving fee <laughs> tell you, that's all you need to know uh, but yeah so uh you got your video coming out your album's coming out yeah uh, and what's this next song you're going to play so for this us? song is called shadows on the water uh, do you want me to tell you anything about yes, it? Yes, please. Well, basically, as I was saying earlier, like one of the things I love and I'm inspired by is how, well, life and how I can talk about that and my experiences through 
like things I see around me mm. and um, I love to walk I, I get very inspired on when I'm when I'm walking basically and experiencing various things and um this I don't know how much to say about this song because you know you could talk for I no, could talk please about, tell about me I love song. it well um essentially I, I I actually studied philosophy and I think that that kind of like comes through in in the way I think about various things oh. I've always been very thoughtful and um this is a song about change because you know like Everyone listening to your show right now and everyone in here, whatever, however you try to control life, you kind of can't, can you? Because no. stuff's going to happen, isn't yes. it? And, and it's going to change. And you might want to keep things but exactly the same way. But we're all scared of change, Ben. Well, that's it. But some, that's exactly what this is about. Because, you know, like, I think there are some people that can't, can't get enough of change. But most people experience change and think, oh, my, you know, it, it's fear. a really frightening fear, prospect. Yes. And I think the most important thing throughout all of it is is to try and you know be with yourself that that whole period of time because i think if you don't have you mm. then then that change is even more scary then it probably is a reason to be frightened of it so it's it was a song kind of i was going through various things in my own life and out and experiencing things and stuff you know stuff kind of settles within me and i kind of understand something and then i'm like okay now i can talk about that in the song ah. so yeah it's a, it's a song about about change and love i guess oh, and that's uh lovely. you know and uh yeah it's uh Yes, yeah, it's, it's a special one. I, I, I love this. It's thing. wonderful. While well, Fee is standing by to record, I've got my pancakes, which I may actually open and eat whilst I'm <laughs> listening to this next song. It's Ben Mags uh, with his song about change. It's just shadows on the water. Mm. Cold is the ground that the rain falls on It hides in cracks and nourishes old wounds And I love that the only sound I hear Is the raindrops on the river as they soak through my bones Shadows on the water, darkness on the lake, just to hold on to your faith. Shadows on the water, calling out your name. We are the people of the chain. Somewhere in the town that the valley holds Where the water cuts the land There's a man crawling out of the darkness With a candle burning in his hand He says, love, love, darling He says to me, love is all you need And he crawls back under his moss-backed stone Till he can live the words he speaks Shadows on the water, darkness on the lake, just hold on to your faith. Shadows on the water, calling out your name, we are the people of the chain.
Oh, that was apps. Put your hands together, everybody. That was absolutely <laughs> you, brilliant. Trish. Oh Thank my you. goodness, I've got all prickly. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That was fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, hold on to the changes in your life. Hold on to your faith. It's lovely, very spiritual. It's Thank you lovely, very much. and your voice is great. I am going to write down this date, the nineteenth of February, twenty fifteen, as the day that you came into the studio and we found you. It was me. It was just me, just me, ten <laughs> <laughs> percent. No, um, but you are you are incredible. Thank and you. You've, you've got one of those voices that I, I sound like Simon Cowell now or or Mal B. You've got one of those voices that's a recording voice that I that I know that your see you know your track on a CD would sound exactly like that. You've got a fantastic Fantastic Thank voice. You. Thank you very much. Oh, Ben Mags. I think it's wonderful. So we can see you at, at Stratford. Yeah, you can. The uh, Stratford Arts House, yeah? Yeah, that's right. And um, where else can we get your stuff? Where, where can we get your stuff You on? can get my music on iTunes. Mm. Um, so if you type in, like, if you went to Google and put Ben Mags iTunes, you'd, you'd get my, my music through iTunes. Spotify as well. Oh, okay. um, and a lot of the, the stuff that's on there at the moment is from my EP, which I actually released quite a while ago. It's about okay. three years old. Yeah. So that's why I'm really, really excited to kind of get new stuff up. Yeah. Um, but if you also go to my website, which is benmagsmusic.co.uk, and mags is M-A-G-G-S, mm. um, at the moment it's being rebuilt, but it's a kind of a hub at the moment to send you off to everywhere. So you yes. can go to my Facebook page from there, my Twitter page. There's nice, easy links. Um, so just head to my website, mm. and Facebook is generally what, what gets what updated the most at the moment. What's your end dream? What's your end dream, Ben? When, when, you know, when will you say I've made it? What will it be if well, you're if you've sell I don't know two hundred thousand copies, or you want a, 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 a an entertainment show? What will be the the pinnacle for you? Well, you know what, I don't know that there'll ever be a pinnacle because you know life is always changing and there's always something new that kind of presents itself but you know I, w- I would love to be in a position where I could travel around the world around this country around the world and mm. a lot of people would love to come and share an evening with me and I can express my music to people so whether I was in New York City and playing somewhere as extreme as Madison Square Gardens mm. or maybe Radio City you know and, and to be able to sell out venues along those lines I've never thought I'd w- I want to sell this many records or whatever I want to sell as much music as possible to live obviously Mm. Um, but I want my music to I would love for my music to be in people's hearts and ears you know as as far and wide as is possible wow. well i can know. i can tell you uh, i think you've got the talent but Thank i mean I'm, I'm like i say i'm not a music uh, you know maestro but you've really moved me and i think it's fantastic Thank you so much ben Trish. mags and thanks for the tips about juicing as well yeah. i'm gonna go and start juicing everything and not eat anything edible <laughs> just juice 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 okay <laughs> thanks very much ben Thank for you uh, so joining much. in fact i'm gonna do a a duff duff moment <laughs> It was that good. <laughs> it's lovely to have you in. Ben Mags so on BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. Remember where you heard it first? Mm-hmm.